Reef DVM's coming to you with an update on how the farm progress is going. It's uh, 2014 July, actually the middle of July. Uh, we're still on first crop. What a wet year it's been. I think over 30 or 35 inches of rain so far. Anyways, uh, this is the first dry week we've had to cut the hay, and it's um, it's a push. Right now we got the uh, 3720 with the Frontier Rotary Rake going. The hay is really thick. This is a grass hay, so it's Timothy Brome with a little bit of clover in it. And, you know, we've got some dust on the field right now, which is good. And we're going to kick it up and, you know, put this little tractor in high gear and just book it. Um, it's a Saturday morning, and uh, right now they're telling us that rain's coming in by evening. And we've got to get these fields done. So we're going to do three fields today. And we're just going to show you how we just kind of bucked it out. Um... We cut this with the 5083E with the sickle mower on it about four days ago. And uh, right now we're going to take the 3720 and just, you know, put it unfortunately in high range B. And we're going to uh, work the rake a little bit and just, you know, push it up and down these rows as much as we can. And uh, make windrows so that we can pick this stuff up as soon as we can. Normally we don't uh, rake this fast or this aggressively. Um, but we've got hours of work that had to be done in one day before the rains came again. We can't uh, we can't risk it. Uh, this just too much hay, uh, too much money, too much uh, livestock feed that's got to get up at this point. So once we got done raking, it became baling time, and we really pushed that John Deere. I've never baled in seventh gear with this uh, baler. This is the second year with this baler. Uh, Sixty inch bale, four feet wide, and we you know, took the 5083E and we put it in seventh gear and. We found out how much that uh, front end uh, could take on that baler as far as, you know, plugging up. And honestly, it never plugged up once. It was just absolutely incredible to see how fast that hay would fly into that machine and, you know, keep up. So I just, you know, this is a this is a 12 forward, 12 reverse tractor, the, the 5083E is. And I put it up in 7th and, you know, I kept the RPMs about only 1,800. And that thing just, you know, crushed through it. It was just absolutely incredible i had uh windrows you know that were two and a half feet tall um and probably two feet wide i didn't even have to zigzag them because they pretty much filled the whole uh cavity uh for the baler to intake but it was fun to kind of push the equipment for once and really see what it could do and then of course you know as we're bailing uh, my wife is driving around with the 3720 with a bale spear on the back end and she's grabbing bales as quickly as she can to get them into the barn before the evening rains come uh we basically beat the evening rains by about you know six hours which was just just a blessing to get everything in the barn everything battened down and then of course another big rainstorm came through it lasted about four days so it was just it was it was a fast push but it worked good one thing i really liked about this baler and i have liked it in the past too is the bale pro monitor when you're baling fast like this and you're trying to watch your rows and you're trying to make sure it's going in that baler well it's really nice the way this thing audibly beeps at you to tell you you're getting close to making a bale and then really beeps at you to let you know to stop because it's going to start the twining process which then allows me to kind of back into position to put this bale wherever I want it and then once I drop the bale you know and I open and shut the door it tells me that the door is closed so that I know I've got it shut all the way and I can just you know kick it back out on the clutch and get going again of course you know Everything is nice too on the 5083. You're in a cab, you've got air conditioning. It's a good tractor for this kind of stuff. Uh, 80 some horses, plenty of power, it just toys with that baler. Um, probably could even take a much larger baler, but for what we need, this baler works really well. Um, I certainly like it better than the Massey Ferguson. It just picks up closer to the ground, and that's the part I like about it. Not that the Massey doesn't make a nice bale for us, but. Uh, well, of course, the Massey can't make as big a bale, um, but uh, this one just makes a really nice big bale, and I really like that. As you can see, um, we baled it up pretty fast, as fast as we could. Made some nice bales out of it. I figure each bale is on the farm to us is worth probably $80 to $100, so every time we popped one out, that was a good thing. Once we got done uh, with the baling part of it, then I took the 5083E, dropped the baler off it, and then I went around and speared bales too. But as you can see in that upper left corner, my wife's got the 3720, and uh, she's got the uh, three-point bale spear on it, and she's picking up the bales 
putting them in a line to get them out of my way. And then later towards the evening, once I dropped the baler, the two of us were bucking them all the way back up and into the barn, and it worked really good. We've also got the um, bale spear on the skid steer. So once we get up to the barn area, if we've got a bunch of them laying out in front of the barn, um, it's not too tough for us to jump on the skidder and um, also stick them in the barn with the skid steer. That bale spear on the 3720, I think, is a 48-inch bale spear rated up to, like, oh, I think about a ton or so. Um, the bale spear on the front of the 5083E is the homemade one that goes on our pallet forks, and I believe that is also a 48-inch spear rated to about 3,000 pounds. Um, but either way, both spears work really good when the hay is dry like this, and it's a nice grass hay. It was a fun day. Um, too bad it was a little rushed. Uh, I know we tried to get a lot of different camera angles um, going in the field that day with our tripods and uh, my daughter taking footage and so forth. Um, but we tried to show as much of the bailing experience as we could that day. I hope you enjoyed it. We certainly appreciate you watching our channel. Um, we ask that if you could, please subscribe and show support to our channel and our videos. And we'll keep putting out great farm videos like this. Keep showing off the tractors. Uh, 3720 here, like my wife is hauling bales with, or the... 5083E pulling this 459 uh, round baler by John Deere. Either way, we again, we appreciate your support. Please like or subscribe to our channel. We'll keep putting out great videos like this. Thank you, folks.